can you believe Thanksgiving already next Thursday? Do you have your menu set? You don't? Well, good. That's why we have Patty Mastracco here with IDoFood.com uh, to show us how to make things a little fancier, a little better ingredients can right. make things right. taste even better. We have no canned soup and we have no marshmallows here. So for even starters, healthier. Okay? It's healthier and it's just a little more fun and interesting. It's just time, you know, everybody does the same thing over and over again. Yes. Just mix it up a little. Okay, how are we doing that this but morning? But still easy, easy. All right, so here is my pantry of fun, different ingredients. That's so it. It's, it's wow. all, yeah, I mean, you know I shortcut cook, so. Right. Never love shortcut it. on That's taste, love but you. so I have walnuts. I love cooking with walnuts. Our California walnuts are local, which is great. Good for you too. Good for you. Check this out. They're heart healthy, of course. Oh, is that look great? at that. Yeah, but Found they just the really walnut. lend themselves to so many different dishes. So the other thing, instead of cranberries, I'm using lingonberries. Okay, what's and, the difference in taste? Um, they're very similar because they're the lingonberries are a sweet tart taste. So they're it's just kind of a nice change of pace. They're a, a delicacy in Scandinavia. They grow wild there. It's just I thought you know rather than cranberries, I just mix Something it up a little different. bit. Something different. Yep. The other thing is these um, seasonings by Gourmet Garden, and they either have the garlic, ginger, lemongrass, or chopped up herbs in a tube, which are fantastic. They have several different, I've oh my walked gosh. by these in the grocery it's store, in the produce and department. so many times I've kind of questioned, you know, oh, I don't know, should I buy the I fresh? I love, love cooking with fresh herbs, and it just makes it so much easier. You got enough on your plate for Thanksgiving. Sure. So, and especially for something like ginger and lemongrass, it makes it super easy. Where well, you only need a little, you and you don't want to waste anything, right? Right, right. Yeah, these will these will last a uh, uh, couple months in the fridge. Okay, they wow. They also have these lightly dried herbs, and those will last a couple weeks in the fridge. And you've got, what, chives here? Those are chives. Okay, so what I did was I took this wonderful Minari balsamic glaze, which is like a mm. very thick, almost like a honey balsamic oh, mixture. And I've had a, this This before. is a really great company. They've been around for years and years. I just mixed this and the lingonberries and a little of the either uh, ginger or the lemongrass paste. That's and it. I made this lovely glaze and I used it on my yams. So you still get the nice sweet flavor and I topped it with some um, glazed walnuts. So no marshmallows, healthier, actually tastes better. A lot of flavor though, a I imagine. A lot of flavor, yeah. It's still I mean, sweet. Seriously, all it is is, is three ingredients. And gluten free I see on the back as well. Yes, and they so make that's an organic nice. and a non-organic. And if you want it a little less sweet, you just use their balsamic vinegar instead. Okay, just simple. All yep. right. The other thing is, is here's a little bit something a little different. I took the Pirano cheese, which is a really fun Dutch cheese uh, with kind of an Italian side. They say it's a confused cheese. It actually tastes like Parmesan and Gouda, but it's oh, a yum. Dutch cheese. What a combo! So I put it in my stuffing, and I have like half cornbread, half bread, and I started with cornbread. really good bread cubes. So I like that. So it makes it a little sweet. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Okay. And then I put bacon in it, and some of this oh, shredded Pirano cheese. So it just has this nutty, lovely cheese flavor with the bacon. Bacon and the bread. And the bacon and probably keeps it from really drying out, yep, I imagine. Yep, it just adds a nice a salty grease flavor. In it, yum. So, okay. Yep. And I took, um, just took my gravy and I added the Italian herbs to the, the Gourmet Garden Italian herbs to it to spice it up a little bit. Yeah. So, add a little more flavor, okay. Yeah, this is what I'm doing in place of the traditional cream of mushroom soup yes. recipe that everybody loves, but I'm giving it a healthier twist. So, I made a really light cream sauce out of uh, a heart healthy spread and fat free half and half and chicken stock and some sauteed onions. And then instead of the french fried onion topping, I have some really finely minced up onions. So I'm not gonna be in a food coma no, after this one. No, it's really <laughs> light and it has the same kind of flavor. I have some crushed up croutons, just a little bit more of the heart healthy butter. spread. I'm not using a ton of it. And then I have a whole bunch of chopped up walnuts. So you just mix those mix together. That. Yep, instead of the french fried onions. And so do you put that on top after you've baked this for a little bit or do you nope, put it on I, before? I have okay. Just lightly cooked my green beans so they're about half cooked. And how long do you bake this? Uh, it bakes in about a half hour. Okay, and that's it. And, yeah, all the okay. recipes are at idofood.com so you can, you can That's where you need to go. Yeah. Get your menu set. Patty, yep. thank you so much. Always incredible to see your ideas. We love it. Thank, thank you so you. much. All right, let's send